I just, mm. I just think they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. You can wear the raggiest, shabbiest things and put a hat on, and you look fantastic. Entertain you. Forty-five coats on this rail, and um, I'll show you one of my favourites. It's my shamanic red Indian long coat, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Guess it may have cost ten, fifteen pounds. I know most people probably wouldn't be seen dead in it. <laughs> Michelle's keen eye for a bargain has paid off time and time again, which means that every wall and floor in her Essex home has been surrendered to her shopping obsession. Okay, up here it's mainly bags. In total, I've probably got around 60 bags. What compels me to buy? I don't know what feeling I'm looking for, but I know that I feel good when I have something new in my hand. This is mostly my jackets and some light coats. So I think there's probably more like 70 to 100 jackets. I would probably spend up to maybe 50 pounds a month. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> and considering items would cost between one pound and five pounds an item, that's quite a lot of items. Wore it once. I sometimes bring home one, two or three bags of clothing a week. Michelle realises that her desire to shop is out of control and that it may be linked to past events. Some people say that you buy things to replace something that's missing in your life. Is this something that is rather phenomenal or what? There have been many things that have happened that have been upsetting. Okay. Uh, one was the breakup of my marriage, the death of my mother about the same time. Um, my brother died earlier than that, but I, and there's lots of things that could have triggered it. Michelle may not know the root of her addiction, but she does know it's time to change. I'm really working on my willpower at the moment, trying not to buy things. I'm really, really trying to be proud of myself for not buying what I don't need. It's difficult. It's very hard, actually. While Michelle wants to tame her shopping impulses, across the Atlantic in New Orleans, another woman sees it as a glamorous gateway to a world of wealth and wonder. Andrea Phillips' desire for expensive designer labels means that daily shopping sprees are just a way of life for her and her pet Pomeranian princess. I love shopping because I always want the bigger, better thing and um, it just makes me feel so good. I go on sprees, like I come back with bags of clothes and it's just never enough. Like I have nowhere to put anything anymore. I just, I push it in somehow. It's just never enough. I always need to get more. 